Mira Andreva is on a roll, ladies and gentlemen. The future of Russian tennis. She's taking out Emma Betkas. She went three with Victoria Azarenka, and today she makes light work out of Peyton Stearns. Now, Peyton Stearns is an NCAA champion. Where do I rank that? I rank that definitely a step above the best junior girls talent in the world and right above the best junior ladies talent in the world. Winning the NCAA championship is big time and it's a sign that you're ready for the world tour and you could probably fit somewhere in the top 100. That's just my personal opinion from someone watching so much tennis. And we've seen Peyton Stearns win her first WTA main tour championship just last week. Could she keep the magic going today? She couldn't. And if you did not see this match, well, let me fill you in. That's why you clicked on the video. Listen, Mira and Dreva kept Peyton Stearns on the back foot the entire match. It seemed like Peyton Stearns needed at least three to four more shots to even work herself in these rallies. She looked over at her camp numerous times, just showing frustration. What do I take of this? I take away from this that Mira Andreva is, and this is what I've always said and known, she's very strong for her age. She's very aggressive for her age. Her left down the line is very powerful, but she's also very smart for her age. She plays smarter, and this, she reminds me of a young Coco. Young Coco was very defensive, guys. Very defensive and very patient. Now, I felt when Coco got to the main tour, she started to try and match some of these adult women tried to match their power and she got very aggressive and that led to you know a lot more mistakes and things like that mira is very patient she's got great top spin and i love watching her play i love everything i see from her she's coached very very well i mean just look at mira guys she's got an 85 percent win rate on clay 50 and 11 she's 16 and 7 on the year 9 and 3 this year on clay her win rate overall is 80 percent on uh, for her career that's like me and my free predictions she's amazing ladies and gentlemen now i don't think the score reflects how dominant mira was in this match she only won 67 percent of her first serves and lost 53 percent of her second serves so peyton stearns did put up a fight but 6 for 11 on breakpoint opportunities mira and Dreva was solid today ladies and gentlemen 23 unforced errors from the racket of peyton stern to only nine from mira but listen guys the question is can mira make the olympics this russian squad is stacked and in case you're not familiar well let me walk you through it ladies and gentlemen dash is the number one ranked russian at rank 13 on the world tour the number two ranked russian is ludmilla at 17 on the world tour ekaterina is the third ranked russian and this is where it gets interesting anastasia pavyuntinkova the fourth ranked russian number 22 on the world tour and from there it's a toss-up but there's only two russian players left in this tournament that have i'm sorry three there's three russian players left in the french open that could possibly make a run for that last spot Now, two of them, they're going to have to win this tournament outright. There's no other way that they can qualify for the Olympics. Let me finish going down the list. Number five, Anna Kalinskaya, ranked 25th on the World Tour. She's out. Number six, Veronica Kudamatova, ranked 31st on the World Tour. Not going to happen. Marin Dreva, the seventh ranked Russian at rank number 38th. If she makes the semifinals, she will knock out Anastasia Pavlyuchenkova. Two more wins for Mira, and she will make the Olympics. Now, a lot of people thought, look, she's going to have to wait till she's 21, which is still pretty young in, in tennis years, right? Tennis is a young female sport. But can she make the semifinals is the question. Potapova ranked 41st. She's right behind Mira. If she makes the semifinals, she'll knock out Anastasia Pavlyuchenkova. It gets very interesting. Diana Snader, she's out, ranked 47 on the World Tour. Anna Blinkova's out, ranked 55th on the World Tour. And here we go. Alina Avenician, ranked 70th. If she makes the final here in the Roland Garros, she'll knock out Anastasia Pavlyuchenkova. So three Russian ladies left fighting for that spot. It's going to take a lot. But I think Mero's probably got the easiest path to the Olympics because she's not going to have to go through Iga. Big bad Iga, Potapova does. It's getting interesting, guys, in France. A lot of spots up for grabs. The Americans, what about 
Emma Navarro. If she makes the championship match, that's going to be a shuffle. She's going to knock out Madison Keys. That's right. Madison Keys needed to win today to possibly move over Danielle Collins. And then if Emma Navarro makes the final, she'll actually move into third and Madison will be fourth and Danielle will be bumped out. There's a lot going on here, but Madison Keys is out. So Emma Navarro controls her destiny. If she makes a championship, she'll be an Olympian. If Mira makes a semifinal, she'll be an Olympian. Tennis in a minute. Get your popcorn. This is heated up. I'm going to keep you coverage.